This is a demo on how you can pull together a view of all the information of a particular subject using various means of displaying that data. In this case, we are going to focus on the clinical trial search demo. First, you must log into Cortellus Labs, click on the menu icon, and select Cortellus APIs. Click on the icon for clinical API. In the gray box, select the shortcut for demos and then click on the clinical trial search record link. In the clinical trial search webpage, you just need to enter a simple query. In this case, ibuprofen. Once this loads, you can see this returned over 1600 results and contains various subsets of data. If you prefer to narrow down the results, at the top, you can click on refine. The refine options allow you to choose various filters to return a more exact result for your search. You can choose filters for active controls, biomarker, endpoint index, and so on. If you click on show hide next to one of your filters, you can see choices listed out with the associated number of records for that choice. Once you've adjusted your filters, Click the Refine button again to narrow the results for your query. For example, under Funder Type, let's choose Company, which has 791 records. Now that the results have narrowed, let's take a look at the various categories for studying the returned datasets. From the overview page, you can see there are eight categories that narrow down the search results based on those particular categories. These are examples of how you can display the results visually via pie charts, country maps, bar graphs, and tables. Under recruitment status, there is a pie chart that displays the different trial recruitment statuses for your search term, in this case, ibuprofen. It shows the status, for instance, completed or recruiting. And if you hover over the pie chart, you can also see the number of records and a percentage of the total number of trials for the recruitment status. By clicking on the pie chart on a particular status, you will see a pop-up window that displays all records for the chosen recruitment status. In these display windows, you will see several columns of data. The title of the trial, the phase of the trial, the recruitment status, start year, end year, the duration in weeks, the enrollment, country, company sponsor, and the endpoints. Each of these columns has small up and down arrows next to the column header that allows you to sort the results based on the column's subject. You can also use the search box to narrow the results down further. From this window, you can also click on the name of a trial to go directly to the trial record available in PDF. As you can see in the table of contents for the PDF of the trial record, there are various categories of data available. Snapshot, protocol and results, subjects and measurements, and contacts and sites. Now, if you go back to the clinical trial search page, you can just click the X in the top right of the window to return to the results overview page. The countries map allows you to hover over a country, say the United States, to see the number of trials for your query, in this case 367. You can also click on the country to only pull up the data in the trial table for the search term. In fact, for each category on the overview page, you can click on the pie charts, bar graphs, or tables to bring up the narrowed down trials table and see the results for that chosen area. Next, you see the phase of development of the trials. There is a horizontal colored bar graph representing each phase with a breakout of the colors and phases to the right. If you hover over a particular color, say the purple bar, it will show you the phase and the number of trials in that phase. In this case, it's phase one clinical with 231 trials. Next is the enrollment by year vertical bar graph that shows the year across the x-axis and the number enrolled on the y-axis. The blue bars represent the number of studies 
and the green line, the total enrolled. If you hover over either, you will see results showing either the number of studies or the number enrolled based on that year. You can scroll down on the enrollment by year and see a table that breaks out the data by year, total enrolled, average trial enrollment, and number of studies. This just shows how you can display the same clinical trials API data in different ways. The next table shows the various endpoints and associated number of trials. The top 10 patient terms shows the breakout of the patients based on age, sex, and health. You can see the terms listed to the right with their associated colors and then hover over a color on the pie chart to see the breakdown of those terms. For instance, the dark gray piece shows the young adults 18 to 44 years old with 663 trials with young adults as patients. The top 10 adverse indications breaks out the various drugs side effects shown in a trial by listing the indications on the right with the associated color and then displays them in the pie chart. If you hover over the dark gray piece, you will see the indication is headache and that there are 44 trials which have headache as an adverse indication in the trial. Next is the top 10 company sponsors vertical bar graph, which displays the company name on the x-axis and the number of associated trials on the y-axis. If you hover over one of the bars, you can see the company name and the number of trials. For instance, on the first bar, you can see Pfizer and 52 trials associated with ibuprofen. Lastly, back at the top of the page, there is an orange view all trials button on the top right. Clicking this takes you to the trials table that lists all records for your chosen query and allows you to directly to a particular trial record by selecting on the title. As you can see through the clinical API, you can display the data in various tables, pie charts, bar graphs, etc., all within one interface. There are also various ways to narrow down the data, eventually going directly to the individual trial record in PDF.